long time ago, there lived an emperor in a magnificent palace. The palace was surrounded by a beautiful garden filled with wonderful flowers. And in the end of the garden was a green forest that extended straight down to the sea. In the forest there lived a nightingale who looked strange but had a very sweet voice. Whoever listened to it felt that there was nothing more beautiful than the nightingale's song. One day the emperor came to know about this and immediately ordered his servants to bring the nightingale in his court. After a great inquiry, the nightingale was found and brought to the emperor. When the nightingale was asked to sing a song, it sang so beautifully that tears came into the emperor's eyes and the song went straight to his heart. Then the emperor immediately decided to keep the bird at his palace. The nightingale was given a cage with liberty to go out twice every day and once at night. Twelve servants were appointed to accompany the nightingale when it went out, each of them holding a silken string fastened to the bird's legs. There was really no pleasure for the nightingale in such an excursion and it wanted to return to its home in the forest. But the emperor wanted it to stay. One day, the emperor received a large parcel marked the nightingale. The box contained an artificial nightingale that was brilliantly ornamented with diamonds, rubies and sapphires. The bird had a clockwork mechanism. When the artificial bird was wound up, its tail moved up and down and it sang a sweet song 33 times without getting tired. This clockwork nightingale became so important that it was put on a silk cushion close to the emperor's bed. Such an honor was given to the artificial bird and on the other side none had noticed that the real nightingale had flown away to the forest and in this way days passed by. Five years later we could see that the emperor was ill and could hardly breathe. He was about to die and so wanted the artificial bird to sing so that he could be distracted from the fear of death. But the clockwork nightingale was unable to sing to the dying emperor because its mechanism was quite worn out and there was no music left in it. Suddenly, from outside the window came the most beautiful song. It was the little live nightingale that sat on a branch of a tree and sang. It had heard of the emperor's illness and had come to provide comfort and hope to him. As it started singing, the blood ran more quickly through the emperor's heart. And then the magic happened. The dying emperor was revived by the songs of the nightingale. As he could breathe now, he wanted to reward the nightingale and asked it to stay with him forever. The nightingale refused to stay as it can never get its freedom in a palace but promised to come every evening to sing for the emperor only if it would remain a secret between them. And then. The nightingale flew away. 